the the first one psychodopsida first one is psychodopsida yes sir okay please tell me any examples of psychodopsida these mainly are the fossils group sir okay cycles uh -huh. next another point they are unbranched sir okay they are monozylic monozylic yes. okay. their so cortex and tetra are white oxida second one is conifera oxida and third one is net oxida three families is there okay yes. so in this three families first one is cycad oxida in cycad oxida total four families is there four orders is there one that is in Peridospermalis. Second one is Benitaxelis, Pinotaxelis, Pinotaxelis, and Psychedelis. Psychedelis. Okay. In yes, this sir. group, in this group, Benitaxelis, it is only fossil groups. Okay. So before, okay. before we are saying that is in Psychedopsida. Okay. Now, Psychedopsida groups are also saying. Benitaxelis, okay. Little bit uh, confused is there, but don't confuse. One, it is in now we are saying that is in Psychodopsida, okay. So okay. sorry, before before yes. before means we are saying that is in Psychodopsida. So now we are saying synonym of Psychodopsida we call that is in Benitaxelis. Is it okay now? Okay, sir. Yeah. So could you repeat yeah. that again, sir? Ah uh, yes. You see now here. Generally, Benitaxelis. Okay, it is total fossil group. In previous days, in this group, in this group means Psychodopsida. We are saying Psychodopsida in previous days. Now we are saying Psychodopsida, Benitaxelis. Is it okay now? This is of synonym yeah. of Psychodopsida and Benitaxelis. So, uh, will it be okay if we say that uh, instead of psychodopsida, calling it as benitaxelis? Yes, 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 yes. Now we so are we can benit replace either of it, psychodopsida or benitaxelis. So it means one and the same. Ah, yes, same, same. Both are same. Okay. But so benitaxelis, one of the order is there in benitaxelis group. Is it okay now? Okay, so uh, psychodopsida in Beni under Benitaxelis, there is uh -huh. one more order called psychodopsida. Yeah, psychodopsida. Okay, okay sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. So now you see the morphology and anatomy of psychedelis or ginkolis and coniferalis and axelis and nitelis. Okay, morphology and anatomy of psychedelis, ginkolis, coniferalis. Taxalis and Nitalis. Is it okay now? Morphological structures. Yeah. So morphological structure means already you know very well when you are studying the gymnosperms, the gymnosperms plant body is divided. Okay. How many stages? Three stages. Okay. Entire the gymnosperms you are saying that is in sporophytic plant body. And next now you see here. The gymnosperms, the plants with unprotected seeds. First point, already you know very well. In all the gymnosperms or evergreens, the adult plants are very tall and woody, perennial trees and shrubs. Invariable branched except psychedelis. The eustil. Eustil means this is of an arrangement of vascular bundle. Separate system is there. We call that is in U steel. Means so uh, when you are studying in the steel, so we know very well U steel. U steel means this is a separate type of the vascular bundles. Okay, the vascular bundles are two types is there. So if you know the pteridophytes, the U steel is very easy. One it is a proto steel. Second one that is in siphono steels. Okay, proto steel it is a primitive. Siphono steel it is in advanced. In that siphono steels, okay. So, so many types is there. One type that is a U steel. U steel means so the steel arrangement entire the uh, what we have entire the stem we call that is in U steel. Okay. Yes, that steel it is in conjoint collateral 
and open type of vascular bundles open type of vascular bundles okay yes so next now you see the leaf are dimorphic dimorphic means when we are looking the leaf two types is there we call two or more than sometimes so we call that is a dimorphic uh, haploclic or syndotechelic stomata please tell me anybody what is the meaning of haploclic and uh, syndotechelic hello students hello yes sir uh, please tell me anybody what is the meaning of haploclic haploclic or syndotechelic stomata already yesterday we are completed see here now haploclic means so you know the stomata what is the meaning of stomata it is a transpiration yeah yes sir so the stomata structure we are looking the leaf okay is a bean shaped above the bean shaped so here we are looking which one that is in god cells and second one is subsidiary cells subsidiary cells yes so based on the subsidiary cells so many types is there so no i am not going in that one here you see the subsidiary cells and god cells generating one single cells okay the generating it is united one cells so we call that is in we call that is in of haploclic life cycles haploclic yeah second one that is in syndotechelic syndotechelic means so you see the subsidiary cells and god cells are germinated okay are coming a different type of the cells so we call that is in syndotechelic stomata so mesor conditions and uh, transfusion tissues and next point the companion cells are absent so what is the meaning of companion cells it is a type of cells found with in the phloem okay phloem of uh, so other uh, some of the means uh, when we are looking the phloem so in that phloem we are looking special type of the tissues is there so we call that is in companion cells okay the companion cells are absent the spornae already you know very well classified gymnosperms into cycadelis gingolis coniferelis and taxelis and uh, nitelis among these entire these groups cycadis are primitive groups cycadis are primitive groups nitelis are advanced okay a uh, gymnosperms are placed between already you know very well in between of angiosperms and uh, pteridophytes okay so now you see in all the gymnosperms independent sporophyte okay so developed in very well vast very good vascular systems a lack of vessels is there and the presence of prawns heterospores heterospore means so two types of the spores is there microspores it and a megaspores is there some pteridophytic characters so these are all the characters of in the pteridophytic characters and uh, also we are looking in secondary growth secondary growth means so now you see when we are looking the normal development so we call that is in secondary growth secondary growth also we are looking in gymnosperms okay and the top root system is there some differences with the uh, already Uh, yesterday we are discussed that is of pteridophytes okay so see now what is the morphological structures what we see the page number please now you see some people are asking this is second uh, lesson uh, here the first now morphology so what is the morphological structures of cycadelis okay morphological structures of in cycadelis uh, now you see here there are uh, two families already you know very well there are two families of living taxa so cycadelis and are placed in cycadesi where the extinct tax of placed of uh, nilo soniaci so what is the habitat what is the habitat 
Habitat is the dwelling place where the organism ah, yeah, yeah. lives. Now, now, no, no, habit. Now I'm, I'm telling you, habit, not habit. Habit. Okay, habit. the thallus structure and all. No, 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 no. This is not a thallus. Yeah, yeah, it's a plant body. Sorry, ah, plant body. This is a plant, plant body. body. Thallus. We are looking in only in algae. Algae. So yes, this sir. Is a little bit, this is advanced plant. This is not a thallus. It is a plant body. Okay. Habit means all the cycus, all the psychedelic plants are not looking the same okay different type of the plants you are looking in psychedelic families so you now you see the one of the cycus plant already you know very well very short plants is there you know the cycus plants minimum it is a uh, i yes, think sir. two meters or three meters is there very short plants or cycus some of the cycus plant very long Three or uh, sometimes you are looking in the ten meters, and also is there. Okay, so different type of the plants you are looking in the psychedelic. Uh, you see now the stem. The stem it is usually cylindrical structures is there. All the cycas plants are very slow growing, either aerial. Okay, the stem is uh, growing very slow, unbranched. So occasionally we are looking adventitious roots branches. Okay, so sometimes we are looking that is a uh, ten to eighteen meters. Ten to eighteen meters. Some of the plants in only three to four meters. Okay, so <clears throat> the leaf after the stem. Yeah, first one that is in habit. Second one that is in stem. After the third one that is in leaf. Psychedelic leaf. So, what type of leaf we are looking in psychedelic? The foliage leaves. Foliage leaves is there in the psychedelic spirally arranged. It may be pinnate or bipinnate. Okay. You see, when we are looking the leaf, generally the leaves are two types. One it is in simple leaf. Second one that is in compound leaf. Okay. Simple leaves means already you know very well where we are looking in only one leaf that is in simple leaf. Second one here it is in compound leaf. Compound leaf means more than one leaf because that is in compound leaves. So for example that is Moraya konangi, Azadi recta indica. Okay, so we call this is in compound leaf. Again compound leaves are two types. So one it is in Pinnately compound leaf. Second one that is in. Second one that is in foliage compound leaves. Okay. So now, here some of the some of the plants are contain foliage leaves and uh, some of the leaves are contain the foliage. Some of the leaves are bipinnately. So you know the pinnately. Sir, please present some PPT or board for the better understanding. You are asking the PPT. You you watch to listen to my lecture. That is enough. Okay, we will share that one. Uh, next, now you see here, pinately. Understand all of pinately means? Yeah. So pinately means just like okay by pinate. So when arrangement only, of leaves on the. Uh, yes, arrangement of leaves by pinnately compound leaves. Okay. Yes. So next, now you see here the leaves are sarcinate variations. Sarcinate variations means uh, we are looking from spring like structures, is there. Spring like structures. We call that is in sarcinate variations. And uh, sub sarcinate variations also we are looking in this one. The size leaf. Leaves are maybe five to five or six meters long. Some species, cycus, it is in five to six meters in long. Okay, so <coughs> the leaves have a distinct midrib. Midrib means center vein like structures, but lateral veins are absent in the cycus or branched off dichotomously. Okay, the development of it in two stages is two 
branch is going on, we call that is in dichotomous branching. The leaf base are persistent longer after shading the leaves. The leaf cycles, except some of the members of Goenia, that is of in two kinds, uh, pinnate, prawn-like vegetative leaves, prawn-like vegetative leaves, the simple triangulated scales like brown densely covered with the leaved called of cataphyllase. This is a one special type of the leaves we are looking in some plants. The vegetative leaves of cataphyllis are produced singly, singly on one after either young plants, but produce the simultaneously in alternate growing the prones of adult plants. Okay, so this is the leaf structures of in psychedelis. Okay, here one is the most important number one that is in foliage, and second one that is in pinnately. And uh, here we are looking five to six meters, sometimes a little more than six meters. Okay, yeah. So after the stem of the leaf, yes. So next, now you see we are doing the anatomy. So anatomy means internal structures of plant bodies. We call that is anatomy. Okay, how the development of uh, the plant body that is in anatomy. See the apical meristems. Okay. It shows the few apical initials. Central core, central core is there, and the lateral flanking tone. Central core is divided into sub apical initials, and second one that is in central zone of meristems, and the third one that is in rib meristems. Cells of sub apical meristems. Are dense with cytoplasm and take deep stain and central zone of large diameter is uh, takes light uh, stains. Yeah. Okay. When we are looking the section stem, stem cross section cutting, the cross section of stem shows circular outline. Circular outline due to persistent leaf base. Stem shows it is a U steel with large pith, the vascular cylinder and a large cortex with the numerous mucilaginous canals, mucilaginous canals. You see here, when we are looking the stem section cutting, generally three regions is there. One, it is in epidermis, second one is cortex, and third one that is in steel. Okay, understand all of you here? Is it clear? Hello, anybody respond? Yes, sir. Ah, yes, sir. Okay? Ah, yes, yes, sir. Ah. You see, when we are looking at section cutting, this is now we are going to anatomy in psychedelics. Anatomy means internal structures, stem section cutting, leaf section cutting, and root section cuttings. So now we are going to discuss not only stem section cutting. The stem section cutting generally it is a three regions is there. One it is in epidermis, second one is cortex, and third one is steel, which is a common point. Okay, see now the cross section stem shows circular circular outline due to the presence of leaf base. Okay, stem shows the use still with a lot, it means outer layer, outer layer, single layers is there. Sometimes you are looking more than one or two layers is there. So that is an epidermis. Below the epidermis, above the center part. So in all the sections, we call that is in cortex. Okay. So third point means center part. Center part of the positions we call that is in steel. Okay. So steel means arrangement of uh, vascular bundles. So we call that is in steel. So what type of steel we are looking here? It is in two steel type with large pit is there. Large pit is there, the vascular cylinder and large cortex with numerous mucilaginous canals. Also, you are looking in this one. The cortex is storage, large quantity starch. So, after the epidermis, so here we are looking in the cortex. This cortex is made up of different type of the parenchyma cells. These parenchyma cells are contains different type of the food materials. So, food materials means starch and uh, other carbohydrates so many types of food materials we are looking to the cortex okay and the next uh, above the below the cortex below the cortex so here we are looking 
endodermis and a pericycle are not present in this one. Okay, the vascular bundles means center part of the positions that is a conjoint, collateral, and uh, often with endorch xylem, albuminous cells are <coughs> cells are also we are looking. Albuminous means some special type of the tissues we are looking the vascular bundles. So that also we are looking in this one. Okay, this is the anatomy. <coughs> Anatomy of the stem section cuttings. So, what so, do you mean by albu uh, albuminous al cells? Albuminous sir? cells means this is also some type of the storage type of foods we are looking in vascular bundles. Special type of the tissues is there. Okay, just like uh, what we call the meristems like structures. So, that is often albuminous cells. Yeah. So, next second one leaf anatomy. Okay. So all the gymnosperms are just like gyrophytic, gyrophytic characters uh, is there. So already you know very well when you are looking the leaf section cutting, uh, stem section cutting generally three regions is there. Epidermis, cortex, and center part it is in steel. Similarly, so here we are looking leaf. In, when we are looking the leaf, and it is in epidermis, upper layer in epidermis. Okay. So, center, second one, second part that is in mesophyll. Second part that is in mesophyll. And third point that is in vascular bundles. Okay. The leaf section cutting is in three. So, three margins is there. Epidermis, single layer. There is no any intracellular spaces. So, it is also the same protection layer. And below the epidermis, so some spongy type of tissues is there. Okay, so this contain all to uh, what we call that is in so different type of the uh, chloroplasts also you are looking in that one. So we call that is in mesophylls and uh, third point that is in vascular bundles. And uh, here, how can we identify in this one means so above the epidermis. So here we are looking, thick cuticle covers the epidermis. Above the epidermis, so we are looking one cuticle, cuticle-like structures. The leaves are exposed. Excuse me, sir. Yes, Will you sir. be able to use the whiteboard, sir? Because I'm not able to understand anything, sir. Whiteboard Please, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, yes. Yes, sir. That would be really helpful. <laughs> because, you know, the, yes, it's down. You can see at the bottom. Whiteboard is there, one you can minute, help use that, sir. Like, because these terms are really complicated, it's I'm not able to understand anything, sir. Yes, sir. We do somewhat. Yes, sir. We are able to see the whiteboard. Thank you so much, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Used to any pen? Can you use? I can write this one. When oh, you click on the pen, you have a pen tool, sir. Where it is in? It's on the left side, sir. You left just side. Yes, sir. Left side, just above the mic. You can find a pen tool. The pen tools here. On the left side of your screen, sir. Pen tools are just above the uh, mic or the start, uh, the video, you'll uh, find a pen tool. Above the mute. Above the mute. Yes, sir. Above the mute, you'll find a pen tool. When you click on it, you will get all those uh, uh, tools activated. It will come up on the top. Uh, yes. Now, where is the text? And you can take draw. Click on draw, oh. sir. Then you'll oh. have a free curl, free handwriting. Text is for text, sir. Next one. Next to text, sir. Click on that. Draw. Draw, sir. You have to go back on top, sir. Draw is there, no, sir? Draw. Where it is in... So when you click on the whiteboard, okay. 
Yes, sir. You have a mute button, the mic icon. Just about that, you have a pen. Click on the pen. You will get the uh, tools activated. So on the top, it will be. Let me write here. You have to use the pen tool, sir. Pen tool uh, pen next tools. to text tool. It will ah, be written okay. as draw. Draw. Don't click on the uh, text, sir. Okay, draw. Click on draw, ah. and there will be a drop down. You take the curve line, curve line, not the straight ah. line, curve line. You can draw freehand. I think you have taken a text tool, sir. Draw. Draw is there, no, sir. Take the curve line. Curve line, sir. If you take okay. a straight line, it will be so today I'm not able to get that one. Tomorrow we'll see. Yeah. Sir, so it will be like this, sir. Draw mm -hmm. under draw. This will be like this. You take that tool, sir. So can I show paper like this? Hmm? It won't be clear, sir. Not clear. <laughs> <laughs> it's becoming a little difficult. Or, sir, you can do one thing. You can take the picture on uh, from the net and you can perhaps use that and share your screen. Slides, laga, sir. Directly? Directly, sir. You can share your screen. Okay. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> yes, sir. Right. Thank you so difficult. much, sir. It's becoming... Yeah. Sorry, sir, don't mind because this okay. is becoming very difficult for me to understand. There are too many things, new mm. terms, not able yeah. to follow, yeah. sir. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. So, so you know very well the pteridophytes, first of all. So, when you know the pteridophytes, gymnast terms are very easy. Just trying to understand that, sir, pteridophyte <laughs> also. <laughs> okay, then tomorrow we'll give the PP. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. That will be helpful. Thank okay. you, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So next, now you see the leaf. Yeah. Uh, the leaf uh, here, now you see that uh, one, it is in cuticle. Yeah, cuticle, it is in a uh, uh, cover with the above the epidermis. This is zero five characters. Yeah. The leaves are possesses haplochilic stomata. Okay. Once again, this is most important haplochilic and uh, syndotichelic. The development gods and subsidiary cells from the different mother cells. We call that is in haplochilic stomata. Okay. Yes. So, uh, and their god cells are sunken stomata. So, what is the meaning of sunken stomata? For example, now you see here. So, when we are looking in the epidermis. Below the epidermis, below the means not uh, uh, total below the epidermis, just for example, so just uh, uh, inside the epidermis, okay, so there we are looking in sunken stomatas, just in depth, in depth stomatas, we call that is in sunken stomatas, means sunken stomatas also we are looking in psychedelis, okay. And uh, hypostomatic conditions, hypostomatic means both sides of stomata. You are looking that is in hypostomatic conditions. The stomata may be monocyclic, amphicyclic, and polycyclic. Okay. So you see monocyclic, mono means single. Yeah. You know, amphi, both sides, both sides. Means upper epidermis and lower epidermis. Both sides you are looking in the stomatas. And third one that is in polycyclic. So many stomatas we are looking in psychedelics. Okay. So the hypodermis on the both side of any made up of thick wall or lignified cells are sometimes below the upper epidermis. The mesophyll. Mesophyll means second part. Second part of the leaf section cutting. So that is a mesophyll. The mesophyll is differentiated into polycyte, the upper side, and 
sponge layer kind of a sponge layer in the lower side uh, some species polycyte tissues are present in the lower side also okay see one is epidermis yeah so second one is mesophyll mesophyll or contains chloroplast and here what type of the cells we are looking polycyte spongy type tissues is there okay both sides also we are looking in spongy type of tissues yeah so next to oh, the transfusion tissues are also one special tissues we are looking in mesophyll the transfusion tissues present in either side of the bundles and the last one that is in vascular bundles the vascular bundles is covered by the sclerenchyma bundle sheet sclerenchyma bundle sheets means sclerenchyma this is a stone type of tissues is there this sclerenchyma it gives to as a mechanical support to the leaf so we call that is in sclerenchyma tissues is there sclerenchyma tissues the vascular bundle said midrib region or the centripetal centrifugal xylem and that is of in diploxylic diplo means both sides we are looking the xylem that is in diplo xylem yeah. so this is the section cutting of leaf so once again please now you see the leaf section cutting here it is in a three stages is there one it is in epidermis epidermis it is a two types one it is in upper epidermis second one that is in lower epidermis epidermis it is a single layer an excellent protect protect outer layer above the epidermis so there we are looking one cuticle like structures is there okay and here in between the epidermis so here we are looking sunken stomatos okay just below section of epidermis so we are looking in the stomata that is in sunken stomata and here also we are looking haploclic stomata means the god cells subsidiary cells from the some from the different uh, mother cells means the haploclic stomata we are looking and here so that is of in amphistomatic me, uh, which uh, figure are you re referring to sir where which yeah. figure yes sir which picture are Haplo, you referring haplostomatic no sir figure the point uh, the diagram sir diagram so this is psychedelis see the psychedelis psychedelis vegetative structures psychedelis vegetative structures okay okay sister haplostomatic and monocyclic amphicyclic or polycyclic okay so second part that is in mesophylls the mesophylls are contains which one that is in chloroplast the spongy type of tissues is there smooth smooth tissues is there called that is in mesophylls okay so the mesophylls are differentiated into polycyte and the upper side is spongy in the lower side yes so this one is a uh, mesophylls so next point that is a vascular bundles the vascular bundles are vascular bundles covered by sclerenchyma means that is in stone tissues is there stone tissues where the stone tissues we call that is in sclerenchyma so this sclerenchyma tissues is giving to the mechanical support yeah. so this is the leaf section cuttings and next now you see the root systems the roots have eight xylem bundles alternate means so when we are looking the root section cutting there also the three layers is there epidermis cortex and still this is a common point okay so you know you see the roots have the eight xylem bundles alternating with the eight phloem bundles in the base of these bundles gradually decreasing uh, to until dior conditions the roots possesses exor conditions in the primary in the primary xylems okay the primary root is divided 
the primary root is divided into endodermis with the walled parenchyma, cortex, single layered endodermis, pericycle with the diarch, retorque conditions. Xylem is uh, exorc and uh, alternate with the uh, phloem. The pith is present in the center. Okay. See once again, a root section cutting. Three parts is there. One is epidermis. Second one is cortex. And third one that is in steel center part. Okay. The primary roots is divided into endodermis. Okay. So, the same, uh, which one that is in epidermis and cortex is the same point. The endo exodermis, thin walled parenchyma, cortex is single layered endodermis, pericycle. See, this is also one layer like structures above the steel. So, you are looking one layer like structure is there above the steel. Okay, one it is in endodermis, pericycle. So, vascular bundles are xylem is exor kind of alternate with phloem. The pith is present in the center. Besides normal root system, almost all cycles contain negatively zeotropic dichotomous colloid root systems. This is also most important. Means for some of the cycles, so we are looking two types of the root systems. One it is in top root system. So, second one that is in colloid root systems is there. Colloid root systems is comes to above the soil. Okay. So, these uh, colloid roots are contained blue, green, algae, and uh, some nostoc like uh, that. <clears throat> so, you see here, uh, geotropic dichotomous colloid roots are system. These roots are contains which one that is in anabina and endophytic blue, green, algae in the where it is in center part of the colloid roots. Okay. So this is the little general characters of in psychedelis and uh, so that is uh, coniferalis and nitelis. So next now you see uh, morphology and anatomy of vegetative structures of incolis. Okay. After the psychedelis. So now we are going to the incolis morphology. Uh, you see, when you are studying, these are all the point comparatives are most important. Now, you know very well, cycus habit. How many meters is there? That is a, sometimes only 3 meters, 6 to 10 meters. Okay. So, now we are going to the morphological structure of in Ginkolis. Okay. Ginkgo biloba. Okay. So, it is a very tall plant habitat. The young plants grow, it is a height up to 2 to straight up to 2 to 30 years and later the lower branches of grow massively. Okay. Yeah. Next now you see here, what is the stem structures? What is the stem structure of in Ginkolis? The Ginkolis stem is a very tall, woody, erect branched and slow growing the stem is differentiated into long and rough shoots. Rough shoots. The cycus plants, it is in 3 meters, 5 meters, sometimes I like in 10 meters. Okay. So these are uh, ginkgo is, it is a very hardwood, hardwood plants. The shoot systems, here one it is a long shoot system is there and second one that is in short, uh, short the systems also you are looking in this one. Yeah. So next now you see the shoot arise from the main stem. They barely spirally arranged leaves at the node. Above the stem, the leaves are leaves are arranged in a spirally. Spirally means so you see, for example, this is the leaf. So here we are looking, this is a stem. Here one leaf, and also one more leaf. We are looking this side. S shape. So we call that is in spirally arranged. The leaves is there. Yeah, next point. The drop shoots are developed from the axil foliage leaves. Foliage leaves. Yeah. Next to the shoots bear the crone foliage leaves, some reproductive structures at the apex. 
reproductive structure also we are looking just above the leaf so this is of in stem and next one that is in leaf the leaves are deciduous simple fan shaped structures with narrow base expanded apex okay so that is of in yellow green early stage of becomes sometimes are looking the dark green the changes of the golden yellow before leaf uh, that is in tall deeply lobed long shoot and almost entire the broad shoots the epidermis cells are polygonal between the veins the uh, where is the rectangular over the veins of upon the dichotomous veinations so next uh, the root systems top root system is uh, penetrates deep in the soil and highly branched the root caps or root hairs are present so this is the morphological structure of king colis yes so next now you see we are going to the anatomy mean section cutting the stem anatomy shows the single layer epidermis with thick cuticle extensive cortex in the drop shoots of comparatively narrow long shoots there is a no distinct endodermis and pericycle the u still consists of pontine collateral upon endorc vascular bundles the large extensive pith drop shoots uh, and narrow long shoots okay so here the large resin canals is present in the inner cortex and uh, mucilaginous canals uh, are pith in the resians so you see here i am giving in only just to points in only the secondary xylem that is of pycnocylic with weakly developed annual rings trichids have a circular so that is a wadded pits are arranged in one or two rows pits are arranged in opposite manners pits have distinct torus the bars of a race of unicerate so that is of in 1 to 5 cells high in long shoots up to more than 15 to 16 uh, cells also we are looking in the drop shoots so hello anybody respond yes sir yes sir a voice audible voice yes sir yes sir we can please hear. tell me here anybody uh anatomy root uh, root section cutting how many regions is there three types sir uh, one is epidermis yes okay, second epidermis. one cortex epidermis cortex and steel sir that uh, is nothing steel. but vascular but okay. uh, this is a common point this is a common section common so things is there one it is in epidermis okay second one is cortex how can we recognize it how can we recognize it this one is psychedelis section cut psychedelis anatomy and ginkolis anatomy tell me here what is the variation single layer epidermis cuticle hmm. hmm. stem anatomy shows a single layer epidermis with thick cuticle this is a common point psychedelis and here okay extensive cortex in the drop shoot and comparatively narrow in long shoots there is no distinct endodermis and pericycle endodermis and pericycle okay so this is a so recognition points ah uh, yeah so next point you see now the root systems anatomy of the root systems the roots have extensively thin walled cells the cortex cortex uh, with the tannin fillet tannin fillet cells tannin this is a one type of okay so chemical like structures is there that is a tannin fills mucilage cavities mucilage cavities also we are looking the root systems and also calcium axalate calcium axalate crystals also we are looking in where the uh, so ginkolis root systems 
the young young roots are dark and uh, triarch with exorp xylems also we are looking in this one king polis okay so next point the leaves leaves anatomy of king polis so this is also similar characters same so that is uh, leaves uh, have the upper and lower epidermis upper epidermis and lower epidermis the covered with the cuticle stomata that is of in uh, hypostomatic hypostomatic and uh, second one that is in aplostomatic polycyte spongy tissues are present mature leaves have long shoot the vascular bundles of mesorch at the base of exorch at the distinct ends of petiole have to end arc so that is a uh, vascular bundles they are conjoint and uh, co laterals so this is a uh, general characters of morphological characters of king polis is okay you now so next one that is in coniferalis so here the coniferalis little bit advanced little bit advanced group of yeah uh, here very simple <coughs> the coniferalis according to sporne the coniferalis are classified into nine families is there nine families okay so so we are discussing only just a little one or two or three families is there so these are all the coniferous family coniferous families uh it is of in uh, the woody plants with the two types of branches two type branches drop shoots and long shoots okay drop shoots and long shoots in the coniferalis the leaves are scaly leaves so you know what is the meaning of scaly leaves is it just like chirophytic uh, chirophytic leaf like structures because that is in scaly leaves and green or foliage leaves the plants are sporophytic and uh, evergreen evergreen plants so this is a little morphological characters of in coniferalis okay so next to the stem <coughs> the sporophyte bears means and uh, sporophyte means the plant sporophyte bears the branch stems and roots and leaves the plants are woody and dimorphic dimorphic having two type of branches drop shoots and long shoots due to the radial branches these trees are conical conical shapes that's why we are saying it is in coniferous conifer means the plants are looking cone shape structures cone shape structures so here extensive top root system is there and uh, these are all the coniferous plants are contained in the root systems association with the uh, other fungus so we call that is in tell me anybody with the fungus is association in the root systems we call that is in anybody please respond mycorrhiza 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 in coniferous plant coniferous plant okay so with associate coniferous plant roots association with the fungus so that is in mycorrhiza yeah so here this mycorrhiza that is a ectomycorrhiza and endomycorrhiza yeah you know what is ecto and endo out and inside ah yes, yes okay out in means for example this is the root okay not enter outside okay you see on the surface cell, intracellular structures is there that is outside inside means inside the cell okay, that is of an ecto and a endo type of mycorrhiza is there endomycorrhiza present in only arachidiaceae family is there Whereas the ectomycorrhiza is associations. In ectomycorrhiza is a uh, so uh, we are looking to pinaceae families, pinaceae families. You see, and one more important in all the coniferous coniferous plants is totally evergreen plants. Evergreen plants. The leaves are not shed every year, once in a few years. Coniferous are. 
some coniferous or deciduous and leaves are shed annually okay so this is of in coniferalis so and uh, one more is uh, you see which one that is of taxalis is there taxalis taxalis also very easy so i am giving in only little simple uh, uh, the taxalis you see that all the taxalis are very small shapes that is of in monopodial habitat now what is monopodial habitat means it's coming in only single shoot okay so we call that is of in monopodials monopodial habitat when the young or irregular mat irregular maturity trunks are very simple erect often slightly the branches are arranged with the uh, uh, roll like structures the the should the leaf of cushion types leaves are that is of in cushion type broad more or less ridge like long and very short so this of in taxalis yeah and the uh, next one the important point is there in the taxalis the anatomical characters of coniferalis and uh, taxalis so little so that is of identical with slight variations is there Uh, stem the early stage both coniferalis and uh, taxalis stem composed of single layer epidermis multi layer cortex and u stem same similar characters because secondary activity cambium secondary xylem is called wood is produced towards the center and secondary phloem towards in outer side yeah uh, so the tracheids the tracheids and uh, fibrid tracheid xylem parenchyma and vertical resin canals resin canals this is one type of oil oil canals so which contain the some type of the oils so we call that is resin canals the re resin canals represent the vertical systems where the xylem and the horizontal resin canals make horizontal systems so far the so far identity so identification the wood of gymnosperms especially in coniferalis taxalis okay so that is a little uh, similar characters of in coniferalis and uh, so that's one that is in taxalis yeah so next now you see here and uh, one more is there that is in nitelis so nitelis means it is in advanced plant advanced structures advanced structures is there in this one yeah see now here uh, here the nitelis we are looking in three families okay that is of in epidriasi nitesi and uh, sevillum soniesi is a three is is there uh, you see here this habit this plant in also evergreen plant okay arrangement of functional reproductive units of compound strobulus the presence of envelopes around the ovules the presence of microphyll layer projection of integument presence of vessels with the secondary xylem so this is a little uh, general characters of uh, that is a uh, morphological characters anatomy of cycadelis incolis coniferalis taxalis and uh, nitelis so this is in only morphological characters so after the morphological characters see now we are going to discuss reproductive organs so now you know very well the morphological characters of in cycadelis of ginkgolis coniferalis taxalis and nitelis yeah please respond anyone Hello, please respond. Anyone? Yes, sir. Uh, what is the morphological character of psychedelics? Please, the habit. How can we recognize in the habit? Please tell me. Only one point is enough. How can we identify? How can we recognize it? morphology of 
psychedelics any one point general habit psychers range of tuberous you see in all the morphological characters once again most of the gymnosperms are ever green okay most of the gymnosperms are ever green mm. first point these are mostly small to large trees mm. small to large, large tree. small means psychedelis is a very small last one nitelis it is a very large is it okay now okay sir shops climbers lenins all types of plants we are looking in gymnosperms these are all the morphological characters okay but the herbs are very rare okay in all the plants whatever now we are completed psychedelis kinkolis coniferalis taxalis i need this okay so when we are looking the habit one it is in psychedelis little bit short ginkolis long coniferalis very long taxel is very long nitelis in very long woody psychedelis psychedelic plants in very short okay nitelis it is in advanced plants okay yeah okay Okay. Next stems are shows mostly dimorphic nature. Dimorphic nature. Next steel or you steel, you steel. The entire the gymnosperms are looking you steel. The vascular bundles are vascular bundles are conjoint, collateral, endorch, open. Due to the cambial activity, the secondary growth is present. secondary growth due to cambial activity where the meristem activity so here we are looking the secondary development the secondary xylem is called wood monoxylic pycnoxylic you see here we are looking what is the meaning of in monoxylic please tell me anybody monoxylic the soft wood sir monoxylic very good pycnoxylic okay. is nothing but having the hard wood the xylem consists of tracheids 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 xylem is parenchyma res wood is soft wood the wood is soft wood generally non porous leaves or compound psychedelics okay simple that is of coniferalis and uh, haploclic that is psychedelic syndotelic coniferalis leaves are dipolozylic okay centrifugal and so centripetal xylems centrifugal and centripetal transfusion tissues is present top root system is present okay so the wood is of ginkolis coniferalis taxalis and arcaria types of pitting different types of cross filled pitting the coniferalis used for its taxonomically for identifications the presence of vessels of nitelis angiosperms characters in the gymnosperm psychedelic have pteridophytic characters this is most important point here so when you know the uh, which one that is in pteridophytic almost all the pteridophyte characters so we are looking in psychedelics that's why please you read to pteridophyte characters so you know the pteridophyte characters anybody please tell me the pteridophyte characters in pteridophyte plant also we are looking male and female sex organs we call that is in antheridia and archegonia archegonia ah uh, antherina archegonia and uh, which one that is in monospores is there and heterospores is there so these are all the pteridophyte characters means here 
Psychodopsida have the pteridophytic characters and Neetopsida. Already I told, Psychodopsida it is a primitive, Neetopsida it is in advance. Okay, advance means Neetopsida it is a Neetopsida angiosperms characters. So Psychodopsida is a primitive. Which one is advance? Neetopsida. Neetopsida, very good. Okay, na? See, Psychodopsida it is a primitive. Neat absurd right, is in advance. Okay, so you see now here in this uh, important point here, what is the monozylic wood? How does that differ from the pycnozylic wood? Please tell me, anybody. Monozylic what is the monozylic so uh, yes. wood? Is it, the monozylic wood? Sir. Hardwood is and the pycnozylic wood. Yes, okay. This is an important question in your examinations. Yeah? This is a few short questions. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Now you see, yes, uh, how can the xylem of Netum, how can the xylem of Netum, the you still vascular bundles is there, that is enough. Yeah? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. What is the economic importance of pinus? The pinus resin tissues. Medicinal properties, sir. Medicinal yes, properties, very good. That is important. Properties. Okay. Uh, yes, that one. Re enough. Resin of pinus is useful for uh, medicines. Uh... Medicinal values. Okay, very good. Now, very good understand. Now, you see now morphological characters are completed. So now we are going to the reproductive organs. So before the reproductive organs, please tell me here anybody, uh, reproductive organs we call in gymnosperms. Gymnosperms, reproductive organs. What is the male and female? And 3D orthogonia. Uh, before that Mike. one. Mike. Uh, Mike. and Mike. What Mega. one? Mega. So, uh, microsporophylls and megasporophylls. megasporophylls. Very good, very good. That one is most important. Microsporophyll and megasporophylls. Okay. So, which together we call one special name is there. We call that is it. All so, together microsporophyll. All together megasporophyll. We call that is it. Sporangium. Sporangia. Mm -hmm. Sporangium. Hmm. Strobules is there. Strobules. Ah, strobules, sir. Strobules. Is it okay now? Yeah. Yes. Now you see, we are going to discuss of reproductive organs in psychedelis, ginkolis, coniferialis, and taxalis. And now morphology and anatomy are completed. Is it okay now? Yeah. Next, now you see yes, the gymnosperms are homospores or heterospores? Heterospores. Heterospores. Okay. All the gymnosperms, heterospores, throw, there may not be much appear differences in size of physiologically microscope development to male gametophyte and uh, mega spores into female gametophyte. The almost all similar characters. So these uh, micro and mega spores develop in micro and uh, mega sporangia, respectively. Sporangia are attached to sporophylls. Fills means leaf. Which contain the spores, we call that is in sporophylls. The sporophylls are arranged in a spirally manner covering with the central axis. The male and female cones develop. The cones may be present on the plant, monoecious. For example, that is in pinus plant. On the different plant, that is in uh, dioecious, in cycas and uh, ginkgo. Microspores and megaspores develop is due to the reduction division in respect to mother cells. So the sporophyte is a diploid, but spores are haploid. This is most important point. Sporo sporophytic plants are diploid. These sporophytic plants are produced spores. That spores are haploid. haploid. Okay. Entire the plant is diploid. When the spores comes to outside the sporangium areas, so that is in haploid. So in cycas, microsporogenics, 
cones in the large incised but uh, megasporangiate cones are absent where the other psychedelics other psychedelics yeah so next to some which one here it is in the taxa of uh, taxelis the female cones have been recorded so that is uh, <clears throat> now we are going to clear discuss about uh, uh, the reproductive organs so one psychedelis okay so you see the most of the members are psychedelis are dioecious all the male plants are sympodials the male fructifications are uh, normally terminal solitary compact short stalked is it okay now you see the cones for example this is the sporophylls okay so these sporophylls are contain the which one that is in cones most of the members in psychedelic dioecious plant all all the male plants are sympodial the male fructification are normally where it is in terminal terminal branches solitary it means only one is there compact short stalk structures is there particularly where the cycas plant cycas plant we are looking in cluster like cluster okay so here and uh, Eight. Uh, sometimes you are looking in seven. Sometimes you are looking eight. Okay, uh, and one is a famous scientist. He is there. His name is Cutter. In nineteen thirty-two, he reported that the cycas rivolita apex of the stem produce male cone, and the growth of the stem is continued by the lateral bud from base of the <coughs> peduncle. Peduncle thereby. it is a uh, pushing to cone to one side the new stem apex develops leaves and again male cone this process uh, repeated and the stem becomes sympodial after cone formations the male cone it is a very woody compact long 40 to 50 cm spindle shaped and uh, blunt ended you see here the reproductive organs we call that is in cones we call that is in cones okay so what type of in cycadaceae what type of in cycads cones here the cycads cones always you are looking tip of the terminal okay solitary compact compact and short stalk like structures is there okay see microsporophylls are spirally arranged on the on the cone axis so you see for example our hind is one cone is there so here we are looking one sporophylls all sporophylls together all sporophylls together we call that is in okay, cones so now you see when we are taking in only one cone one cones okay so sporophylls these sporophylls is contains sporangiums sporangiums this sporangiums is contain the spores 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 sporangiums sporophylls group of sporophylls we call that is in cones is to okay understand yes sir yeah okay you see now our hind it is a cones one it is in sporophyll fill 1 2 3 4 5 5 five sporophylls okay together we call that is in cones cone one is sporophyll sporophylls is contains sporangia sporangia sporangium inside the sporangiums spores are present sir. spores are okay very good is it okay now You see, yes, microsporophyll. Second one is mega. Microsporophyll means it's a male, spirally arranged on the cone axis. These are aggregated 
and the form of compact male strobules. These sporophylls are what type of shape here it is in? Conical and have both fertile and uh, sterile regions. Narrow lower portion and bordered disc like apical portions and sterile and the middle regions is fertile where the hundreds of microsporangia is called is called this one is most important so when i am very good when i am when i am starting in gymnosperms are not true plant not true flowering plants okay so now you see here we are saying that is in sporangia spores spores are contains pollen grains okay the pollen sacs are present on the abaxal regions is it okay now yeah the, when now you see when the cycas microsporophylls are what type of cycas it is a flat structures uncovered tips whereas the genera they are more or less pelted okay so this is a fin cycas Pores. Is it okay now? Yeah. Next, now you see the conifer. Conifers. Uh, uh, you see in your uh, where it is in. Let's convert the name. Yeah. Tomorrow we'll be showing the some charts. The next one that is of ginkgo lispons. Ginkgo biloba. Okay. The male and female cones are. in distinct early stage but they are they are they can be identified after the development of fructifications okay the microsporangiate fructification at the present of which one that is of in apex of drop shoots catechin like pendulous clusters in the axil of the scale or grain leaves can consist of main axis bearing the main spirally arranged microsporophylls or microsporangio spores these we are two two or two sometimes are lacking more than three or four pendent pollen sacs called of microsporangia these sporangia are attached to with the terminal ridge of tissues the terminal ridge may be on every two microsporangiums this branchia spores of ginkgo is derived from many microsporangia having fossil genus by the reduction so it is not in a which one that is a full year uh, and uh, the hump is a terminal pollen part of having the mucilaginous canals the knob here is the pendant of microsporangia or pollen sacs okay so this is of in uh ginkgolis reproductive organs similarly almost all coniferelis okay same type of uh, structures is there yeah so next one that is of in nitelis also we are looking little bit uh, variation is there little bit variations is there uh now you see here uh where when we are studying the microsporophyll microsporophyll is contains which one that is in sporangiospores sporangiums okay so megasporophylls are contains which one that is in ovules ovule like structures is there you see here the microsporangiums microsporangium produces please tell me here anybody microsporangiums are produced pollen grains okay the pollen pollen grains are generally created by means of air after the development after the so where one that is a microsporangiums when the spores are developed the spores is comes to outside the sporangium outside the sporangiums so when comes to outside the sporangiums it goes to it goes to where the goes to where the female megasporophyll uh, megasporophyll megasporophyll very good megasporophyll means it is female reproductive organs yes so, okay now 
so which contain the ovules ovule ovule structures that is in megasporophylls microsporangiums microsporangium is contain the pollen grains after pollen the grain. development after the development okay so this spores is comes to outside the sporangium area so when comes to outside the sporangium area it goes to where the female reproductive organs is it okay now yeah. so if it is not going to female reproductive organs what happens next generation is not okay so that is a it is ending only there not developed in either generations yeah the pollen grains it generally generally created by means of goes to by the air insects and uh, microphylla regions of the ovules in primitive group of gymnosperms spams where it is in that is a cycadopsida there is a complex pollen chamber whereas in conifera opsida in the pollen chamber is reduced become a simple whereas the netapsida pollen chamber is totally absent the presence of complex pollen chamber is primitive and uh, there it is an absence of the same is advanced so cycadopsida or primitive netopsida is uh, evolved in cycadopsida where it is in, due to the drying pollen drop the pollen or uh, that is of sucked inside reaches the where the pollen chambers pollen chambers so whereas the netopsida is inner integument integument forms of microphylla tubes and acts like a style of angiosperms okay so the pollen grains develop in tube like structures pollen grains develop male gametophytes the male gametophyte further development of male gametes the male gamete fuses with the female gamete produced in the archegonia another archegonia of female gametophyte the <coughs> from the zygote the formation of zygote marks in the status of sporophyte so this of in pollination and post pollination in gymnosperms you see when the spores are comes to outside the sporangium chambers so it goes to with the female reproductive organs okay so here we are looking before we are, you are looking some the development some the development that's why so we call here it in post pollination so a little bit uh, development we are looking in this one yeah. and uh, lastly now you see here the gymnosperms may be monoecious and dioecious plant is there they are heterospores the microspores are produced microspores are produced in microsporangia whereas megaspores are produced in megasporangia mm -hmm. in the microsporangia are arranged on the sporophylls the sporophylls the sporophylls form cones the male and female cones are strobules the sporophylls may be that is often polyspermic and uh, stichospermic the sporophylls are arranged generally in spiral manner covering the cones of axis microsporangia sometimes are arranged group or groups called uh, sorus and uh, other one that is of sorry the sporangia or arranged in the abaxial region sporophylls numerous microspores or pollen develop in the microsporangia the microspores are uh, monosecculate and uh, inpreate and the, sec the non secute integument of megasporangia is called in the uh, called of ovules have first appeared in gymnosperms this point is most important ovules have first appeared in gymnosperms okay so ovules are naked there are uh, no ovaries the seeds are naked hence these plants are called naked seed plants ovules are integument except of netopsida pollen grains of settle in the pollen chambers at the time of pollinations 
Okay, so we call it is a anemophilous type of pollination occurs uh, in the most of the gymnosperms. Uh, fertilizations maybe that is in zygogamy and uh, siphonogamy. So this is all the reproductive organs of uh, uh, which one that is in all the cycadelis, gingolis, coniferalis, and uh, metapsida. Is it okay now? Yes, sir. Yes, understand all of you. Please tell me what about the female cones of psychedelics? Any one or two points of psychedelics? Here we are looking in only three questions. Is there? Okay. So tomorrow we'll discuss in only these three questions. Write about the female cones of psychedelics. Describe the male and female cones of nitelis. Write about the male and female cones of ginkgo biloba or ginkolis. Reproductive organ. Before so before that one so before this one. Uh, the male. Cones are originate. Where it is in? Tell me here, anybody? Sir, male cone. Hmm. Psychedelics. 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 Ah. So, the could you repeat the question, sir? Microsporophylls about the three are spirally arranged in. Micros, please wait, wait. Microsporophylls are spirally arranged on the cone axis. Okay, these are yes, aggregated sir. from the compact male strobilus. These sporophylls are conical, have both fertile, sterile regions. Narrow lower portion, the broad, broad disc-like, disc-like apical portions. So this is of in psychedelics. So here only. general morphological structures morphological structures means plant habit okay what type of habit we are observing we are looking in psychedelics what is the second one ginkgo biloba ginkgo ginkolis coniferalis taxalis nitelis mm -hmm. is it okay Okay. Second one is reproductive organs. Reproductive organs: strobules, sporophylls, microsporophylls, megasporophylls. This mm -hmm. one is most important. Is it okay now? Okay, sir. Sure. Yeah. So next uh, we will discuss uh, tomorrow. Yeah. So tomorrow we are going to discuss about uh, development of male gametophyte. And the second one that is in female gametophyte, female gametophytes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, sir. Any doubt? No. Please. Oh, any doubt? Thank you. No, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. We'll meet on after tomorrow. Yeah. Going to close. Okay, thank sir. you, sir. Thank you, thank, thank you. You, you have any doubt? Hello. Before leaving that one, you have any doubt? You ask to me. This is my number. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank. Any time. Thank you, sir. Any doubt? You ask in all the papers, not only this course, not only okay, course sir. three. Okay. Okay. In one, two, three. Sir, four. your phone number, okay. sir. You know here. Group loan, only, sir. Yes, yes. Group is there. Aja on the WhatsApp group. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Okay, sir. Yeah. Sir, is it okay if we can uh, message you on WhatsApp? Personal? Yes, 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 yes. Personal message, sir. Don't ah, want to okay, okay, put it yeah. on the group. It will oh, be no, disturbance for others. Don't, don't put it on the group. Send it only. 
personal okay thank you so much sir thank you yeah, so much oh, okay sir yeah, when thank you if yes. at all i need to call you what would be the good time to call you sir any time but i have any uh, meetings or any that is what sir yes. you tell me the good time when you are free where no, that is i don't often, disturb you, know, you 10 to 10 to 5 i am in university 10 to 5 Okay, so after hmm? five o'clock, will it be good time? Oh, in you? between ten to five, whatever it is. Okay, between ten and five. Between. Okay, sir. Thank you so much, sir. And one more, sir. Yes. Uh, the last date is twentieth to submit the uh, assignments, no, sir. Yes, 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 yes. And how are we going to yes. submit the assignment? There are two uh, assignments, like uh, assignment yes, two. one and assignment two, right, yes, sir? Yes, yes. Uh, you and, write uh, in A four size page. That is one all clear, side, sir. That is all side, clear. One side, A four size page, used to sketch pens. Huh? Yes, sir. Don't uh, which one that is don't use to the books or uh, internet. You write in only your own sentences, own words. Okay. Okay, sir. Huh? And don't uh, take any internet and others. It's okay, sir. Yeah. And one more thing, sir. Oh, uh, yes. Oh. Uh, when i submit the assignment that is one and assignment two should okay. i put it both together in one file or it should be in separate files one for example you see course three assignment yes, one assignment two it is a in one, one file. total one file one file is it sir oh, okay. okay thank you sir. Okay. that's what okay sir, sir okay. when we have to submit the assignments sir, in the working days or in on the working days Sundays. working days working days huh? okay. before 20 sir yes yeah, yes before 20 Uh, any you. possibility of extending the date sir uh, that is in official decisions so <laughs> <laughs> uh, is official decisions uh, i'm not in authority okay, so, okay. no so offline i'm asking is there can any we, possibility so is that uh, can we submit on 19th like sunday usually our working days only so weekdays yes hey, sunday 19 means so we are The chance, chance are twenty, twenty-first. Twenty, twenty-first. Okay. You come my university, submit to in my campus. Okay. Okay, okay sir. Thank you so much, Thank sir. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much for your time and patience. God bless you. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. The all the best.